Are you a UA person? Sure? Are you a probation officer? Have you ever violated anybody that you weren't supposed to? Did you ever lie to a police report? Did you ever lie to the judge? Ever falsify a report? Judge. Ever falsify one of your records so you could violate someone? Hey guys, Carolina Fort Worth. If you haven't subscribed to me, do that now. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a crazy adventure. Show me some love with some thumbs up. Leave me a comment or two. And remember, it's all about the clicks and the views because the clicks and the views bring awareness, supporters, and change. Probation is a type of punishment you might receive after being convicted of a crime. Instead of being sent to a jail cell, you're allowed to stay within the community, but you have certain things that you must agree to in order to keep your freedom. These are called conditions of probation, and they can be different for every person on probation. While on probation, there are several conditions that you must agree to. Mostly, you agree to be under the supervision of another person or your probation officer. You also agree not to drink or do drugs, you must keep a job, and you must pay your monthly fees. Depending on the crime, other things might be given to you. For example, a DUI conviction might result in you having to attend alcohol awareness classes. Conditions might be different for everybody on probation. If you mess up on these conditions, one thing's for certain. It will be called a violation and you will go to jail. If you are on probation, a probation officer is not your friend. He or she is not cool, and they are allowed to lie to you. So even if you think that everything's okay, they can go behind your back and violate you. They have been known to write false narratives to send you to jail. Sometimes they will write a false narrative just because a cop asked them for that favor. And your words can hurt you, so say as very little as possible to your probation officer. Why do people have to wait an hour for their appointments? I thought your appointment was at the time they tell you the appointment is. So you take off work, secure babysitters, do all that, and then you get here and you gotta wait an hour. Check in on time or we're gonna violate you, but we're gonna make you sit an hour. Right? Hmm. Okay, time out. Remind me to check these out later. This is a cost complaint, meaning I'm complaining about something that cost me money. I've been sending these monitors all over Tarrant County. I'm wondering who gave the okay to purchase all these. And I'm wondering why the monitor is just showing one picture constantly. They're not even being used properly. It's a cost complaint. Remind me to check these out later. No government building can be complete without directives everywhere. Each one's coming out to look. Each one's coming out to look to see what I'm doing. Mm -mm. I'm coming out to look, and then they pop back in. That's real nice. Well, you're very welcoming. There, do not come to the window without being called. Question, how come they have to wait so long after their appointment? Like if their appointment's at 2, you don't see them to 3.30 or 4? Unless you have to ask them at the front. It says, do not come to my window without being called. Hmm. Uh oh, I don't know. You have to ask them. <laughs> Is it normal for them to have to wait so long? Sometimes it is. How come they just don't put the appointments on time? I'm not sure. Oh. Maybe well, you're a probation office. officer, right? Huh? Are you a probation officer? No, I'm not. I'm a UHS. Oh, what a great so job that is. All right. Yeah, you're just a pee taker. <laughs> Part of the reason why they're an hour and a half to two hours behind consistently is because they have no time management skills. Plus, upper management is not teaching them. 
Okay, guys, your answer to this question might help me understand why they're always an hour to two hours late for their appointment. If you were ever on probation and you went back to the probation office with your officer, how often would you see the other probation officers playing around? Sometimes, never, or always? Leave your answer in the comment section, please. If you were never on probation, just answer this. Do you think that officers playing around might contribute to the fact that they are always an hour to an hour and a half late for their appointments? Here's a big hint for you. Every time I've been to a probation office, they've always been playing around. When's the last time you violated somebody? Ever lied to the judge? Ever falsify reports so someone would be violated? Ever lied to the judge? Ever falsify a report? Colton Reed? Oh, hey, there you are. Please. Ever exaggerate something back. that you should not have exaggerated? Are you able to sleep at night? Those would be really good questions, I thought. Standing around. Got all these people out here and they're standing around. They just play way too much. Hey, let's get back to work, guys. We've got people waiting out here. Get back to work. Now we got an empty office. It's afraid of the camera. Now no one's gonna get called. I'm sorry, guys. Now they're just gonna have to leave. Tamara? Are you UA person? Are you a probation officer? Have you ever violated anybody that you weren't supposed to? Did you ever lie to a police report? Did you ever lie to the judge? Ever falsify a report? Judge. Ever falsify one of your records so you could violate someone? Ever lied to the police? Ever lied to the judge? Ever falsify a report to violate somebody? Have you? Do you sleep good at night? Why are you so late? This guy was supposed to have his appointment an hour ago. <sighs> now we got four guys over here working. $21 an hour. Does it really take four of y'all to work that machine? It takes four people to run this machine. One to use the bucket, one to look at the screen, and one to hand the buckets back to the people. $21 an hour. Sorry. We got $81 an hour, $84 an hour to, to run this machine when monkeys could do it. Brain's gonna go to mush if you're not challenged every day. You guys could go to the jail and start killing people. I mean, they've had 30 in custody deaths this year. Only two are COVID. Plus the baby that was born up there. They didn't find for two days. How do you have a baby born in the in the prison and nobody know. That's sad. How do you let people, how do you put people on suicide watch and then they die of suicide? Honorable job. So that's our tax dollars at work. What happened to the other guy? Oh, he must be at lunch. Oh, it's such a hard job. You have to go take a break. Now they're hiding in here.
tax dollars at work. They don't even have a boot jack. So that's it, guys. So they expect you to follow all the rules if you're on probation, but they can be late. They can make you wait out here because you're under their, you're stuck. They got directives. And they have signs saying that if we don't call you up, your probation officer probably forgot about you and to remind them. Why is it our job to remind them what their job is? Matthew.